I traveled to Borneo in search of answers. I wanted to solve the mystery of our fascination with indigenous people and the treasures we imagine they possess. This is a story about two men who fled their cultures. They were two adventurers obsessed with Borneo, the last Eden of our imaginations. Bruno learned their language, walked through the jungle barefoot, hunted with a blowpipe. Bruno gave his whole life to the peanut, the wild nomads of Borneo. Michael began traveling up its rivers, into its villages, all in pursuit of the sacred art of the Dayaks. But our romance with wild places is never simple. Bruno led the Pinan against powerful loggy interests. He became an enemy of the state. He escaped arrest twice under gunfire. It's possible he was murdered but I believe he was consumed with a certain kind of madness. The pieces Michael collected over the years have risen in price, even as the cultures that produce them are dying. Nothing is how we imagine it. The lines between sinner, saint, and myth are blurred. And Eden comes with a price.